as the night whispers its arrival and the stars gently illuminate the sky. I invite you to join me on a tranquil journey into a realm of dreams and tales. Let tonight's story, The Quest of the Black Cat, be your guide to a restful sleep. As you find comfort in the embrace of your bed, allow the day's concerns to fade away. Breathe deeply, letting the quiet of the night wrap around you. Our tale unfolds in the enchanted whispering woods, a place where magic breathes and secrets linger in the shadows. Here, a brave black cat embarks on a quest filled with wonder and danger, all to save the light of the forest from a creeping darkness. Let this story, with its blend of adventure and magic, accompany you to the edges of sleep guiding you gently into a peaceful slumber. Chapter 1 The Awakening of Peril In the deep heart of an enchanted forest, where trees whispered ancient secrets and shadows danced with the light, there existed a realm untouched by time. This forest, known to those who dared to tread its paths as the Whispering Woods, was home to creatures of magic and mystery. At the forest's edge, where the trees thinned and the moonlight gently kissed the earth, stood a cottage veiled in climbing ivy and enchantment. Here lived the Witch of Willow's End, guardian of the forest's magic, and her faithful familiar, a black cat named Whiskers. One evening, as the last rays of the sun dipped below the horizon, a stirring began in the shadows. It was not the innocent rustle of leaves, nor the gentle breeze that often danced through the trees. This was a tremor of darkness, a whisper of peril that crept into the heart of the forest. The creatures stilled, sensing the change, and the forest held its breath. Inside the cottage, the Witch of Willow's End, with hair as silver as moonlight and eyes deep as the night sky, felt the disturbance. Her strength waned, and a malaise gripped her, the likes of which she had never known. It was a sickness born of dark magic, a curse that threatened to extinguish the forest's light. Whiskers with fur as black as the shadows and eyes glowing like embers, watched over his mistress with growing concern. He knew the balance of magic in the whispering woods was delicate, and the witch's ailment was but a harbinger of greater peril. Beneath the beams of moonlight that slipped through the windows, the witch of Willow's End, her strength ebbing like the wane of the moon, called whiskers to her side. Her voice, once a melody that could command the winds and woo the wild, now barely stirred the air. Whiskers, my faithful shadow, darkness has crept into the heart of our forest, and with it a curse that gnaws at my very essence, she whispered, her words heavy with sorrow. Whiskers, whose ears had twitched at her every word since he was but a kitten, nestled closer his fur brushing against her hand. What must be done to lift this curse? He asked, his voice steady, betraying none of the fear that clawed at his heart. There exists a bloom, the crystal bloom, rare and as elusive as the whisper of dreams, she began, her eyes reflecting the glow of the stars outside. It blooms only under the light of the blue moon, within the heart of the enchanted glade. Its magic is pure, born of the very essence of our forest. It alone has the power to break this curse. But the path is fraught with peril, beyond even the dangers our woods have known. To seek it is to walk a path shadowed by danger, a journey that many would fear to tread. Whiskers' gaze hardened with resolve, the ember in his eyes igniting into flame. 
then I shall embark on this quest, and no peril, no shadow shall deter me. For your life breathes life into the forest, and your light scatters the darkness. I will return with the crystal bloom, and together we will restore balance to our home. The witch reached out, her fingers grazing Whiskers' fur, a spell woven with her gratitude and hope enveloping him. Your heart is brave and your spirit is true, Whiskers. If any can succeed in this quest, it is you. But you must not go alone. The forest and its creatures will be your allies, for the bond you share is stronger than the darkest magic. And so, with the witch's plight laid bare, and his vow made under the watchful gaze of the moon, Whiskers prepared to step beyond the safety of their home into the heart of the unknown, driven by the unbreakable bond of loyalty and love. In the heart of the night, under a cloak of starlit sky, Whiskers stood at the edge of the whispering woods, his gaze piercing the veil of darkness that lay before him. The wind, a silent witness to his vow, carried his words as he whispered, by the light of the moon and the strength of the forest, I swear to return with the crystal bloom. This quest I embrace for the love of my mistress and the salvation of our home. The forest listened, its ancient spirit stirred by the depth of his resolve. Whiskers, with a heart brimming with courage, turned to face the creatures of the night his allies in the quest that lay ahead. To those who hold this forest dear, I ask for your guidance, your wisdom, and your strength. Together, we shall overcome the darkness that seeks to consume our land. From the shadows, eyes glimmered with the light of stars, and one by one, the creatures of the forest emerged. An owlish scholar, wise beyond his years, fluttered down to Whiskers' side, his feathers rustling like the pages of ancient tomes. I shall lend you my wisdom, for the journey is long, and the answers you seek are cloaked in mystery, he hooted softly. Next came a timid deer, her steps as gentle as the fall of autumn leaves. My agility and knowledge of the paths unseen will guide us through the woods, she pledged, her eyes shining with a light born of bravery and trust. Lastly, a boisterous squirrel, whose energy was as boundless as the forest itself, scampered forward. And I, he chittered, will bring laughter and light to our darkest moments. For what is a quest without joy? even in the face of peril. Thus, with his vow made and his allies gathered, Whiskers led his newfound band into the depths of the Whispering Woods. Their journey, fraught with unknown dangers, was illuminated by the glow of their united spirit, a beacon of hope that pierced the encroaching shadows. With the first light of dawn casting a soft glow upon their path, Whiskers and his band of allies ventured deeper into the whispering woods. The forest, alive with the murmurs of ancient trees and the subtle rustle of unseen creatures, seemed to watch over them with a curious gaze. The air was thick with enchantment, every leaf and stone imbued with the magic of old. The owlish scholar, with eyes as keen as his mind, led the way, deciphering the patterns of the bark and the whispers of the wind. The timid deer, her steps light and sure, found paths where none seemed to exist, her intuition guiding them through the densest thickets. The boisterous squirrel, ever vigilant, kept their spirits high, his antics a welcome relief amidst the shadows that danced just beyond their light. Their journey through the whispering woods was not without trial. Thorns that whispered sweet nothings sought to lead them astray, 
tempting them with visions of false paths and easy ways. But Whiskers, with a heart steadfast and true, reminded them of the bond they shared, of the quest that united them. Together, they pushed forward, their resolve a shield against the enchantments that sought to ensnare them. As midday approached, a clearing emerged, bathed in sunlight that seemed to pierce the very heart of the forest. Here, the air hummed with a different kind of magic, one that spoke of ancient rites and the Earth's deep secrets. It was here that they encountered their first true test. A stream, clear as crystal but swift as the wind, barred their way. Its waters sang a melody of ages past, a song of sorrow and loss that tugged at the heartstrings of any who listened. The deer, with her affinity for the elements, stepped forward. These waters mourn a time when the forest knew no shadow, she whispered, her voice barely a murmur above the stream's song. To cross, we must offer a memory, a piece of our past that we hold dear. And so, each companion, led by Whiskers, shared a memory with the stream. Whiskers offered a memory of moonlit nights spent in the company of his mistress, crafting spells that danced like fireflies in the dark. The owl recounted tales of a time when his wisdom had guided a lost traveller to safety. The deer shared a moment of pure joy, a morning when the forest had awakened in a symphony of colour and light. The squirrel, with a chuckle, imparted a tale of mischief that had brought laughter to the heart of the woods. With each memory shared, the waters of the stream grew calmer, its song softening to a whisper. And as the last memory was offered, the waters parted, allowing them passage. As they crossed, the stream whispered a blessing, a promise of protection and guidance on the path ahead. At the heart of the whispering woods, where the air was thick with the magic of ages and the ground hallowed by the steps of those who had walked before, stood the ancient oak. Its branches stretched towards the heavens, a testament to its age and wisdom while its roots delved deep into the mysteries of the earth. It was here that Whiskers and his companions came to a halt, for before them stood the guardian of the path to the enchanted glade. The ancient oak's voice was like the rustle of leaves in a gentle breeze, its words imbued with the weight of centuries. Travellers of the woods, seekers of the crystal bloom, you have shown courage and kindness in your journey through these woods. But one test remains before you may proceed. Answer my riddle, and the path forward shall be revealed. Fail, and here you shall remain, until the forest claims you as its own. The air around them grew still, the forest itself holding its breath as the oak continued. I am not alive, but I grow. I don't have lungs, but I need air. I don't have a mouth, but water kills me. What am I? The companions gathered, whispering among themselves. The deer, with her knowledge of the forest, was the first to speak. Something that grows without life. Could it be a stone or a crystal? But the squirrel, with a shake of his head, disagreed. No, no, stones don't need air. The owl, his eyes reflecting deep thought, finally spoke. Consider the essence of the riddle, friends. It speaks of growth without life, the need for air, and the peril of water. What within our woods grows thus? Whiskers, who had been listening intently, felt a spark of understanding. Fire, he exclaimed. Fire grows without being alive. It consumes air, and water quenches it. The companions looked at one another. 
the realization dawning in their eyes as they turned back to the ancient oak. Is it fire? Whiskers asked, his voice steady but filled with hope. The ancient oak's branches swayed, a sound like laughter echoing through the leaves. Indeed, it is fire, the oak confirmed. You have answered well, travelers. Your unity and wisdom have seen you through. The path forward is now open to you. As the words faded, a part of the forest that had seemed impenetrable began to shift, revealing a pathway that glowed with the gentle light leading them onward. The companions exchanged glances, a mix of relief and excitement in their eyes. Thank you, ancient guardian, Whiskers said, bowing respectfully to the oak. We will not forget the wisdom you have shared with us. The ancient oak rustled once more, a whisper that seemed to follow them as they set off down the newly revealed path. Remember, the strength you seek lies not just in the magic you pursue, but in the bonds you forge and the courage you carry in your hearts. With the riddle solved and the path clear, Whiskers and his companions stepped forward into the light, their journey through the whispering woods complete, their quest for the crystal bloom and the salvation of the Witch of Willow's End drawing them ever onward. The forest behind them whispered tales of their passage, a story of bravery, wisdom, and the unbreakable bonds of friendship that would echo through the whispering woods for generations to come. With the wisdom of the ancient oak behind them and the path to the enchanted glade before them, Whiskers and his band of allies ventured forth. Chapter 2 Trials of the Treacherous Trails The first of these trials emerged as the forest thinned, revealing the wide expanse of the River of Reflections. Its waters, clear as crystal and still as glass, mirrored the sky above, a perfect reflection that hid its true depth and the swift currents beneath. The river spanned the width of their path, an obstacle that seemed insurmountable. The owl, wise and observant, was the first to voice the challenge. This river, it is not what it seems. Its waters reflect not just our forms, but our fears, our doubts. To cross, we must confront these reflections, for they will seek to ensnare us, to drown us in what we most fear. Whiskers, his resolve as unwavering as ever stepped forward. Then let us face our fears together, for together we have overcome much. We shall not falter now. Encouraged by his words, each member of the party steeled themselves preparing to cross. As they approached the water's edge, the surface shimmered and images began to form. Whiskers saw himself alone, abandoned, his mistress and companions nowhere in sight. The owl saw darkness, an endless night where no wisdom could light the way. The deer saw fire, a blaze that consumed the forest she loved. And the squirrel, always the light of their group, saw a world without laughter, without joy. One by one, they stepped into the river, the determination a beacon against the illusions that sought to claim them. Whiskers, feeling the cold grip of solitude, remembered the warmth of his companion's presence. The owl, embracing the darkness, found guidance in the inner light of his wisdom. The deer facing the fire understood it as a test of her courage, a challenge to protect what she held dear and the squirrel, confronting a joyless world, discovered the strength of his own spirit. The laughter within that could never be extinguished. Together they crossed the river of reflections, 
their fears faced and overcome, the waters parting before their unshakable bond. Emerging on the other side, they found themselves not only unscathed but stronger, their spirits lifted by the knowledge that together there was no fear they could not face. Beyond the river of reflections, the forest opened into a vast meadow, shrouded in a thick, swirling mist that hung low to the ground. This was the meadow of mists, a place where the air was thick with enchantment, where reality seemed to shift and waver like the ground beneath a traveller's feet. The mist obscured not just the path, but the line between truth and illusion making every step a question, every direction a choice between what was real and what was mere shadow. The squirrel, ever curious and bold, was the first to dash into the mist, his laughter a bell in the quiet. But soon, his laughter faded, replaced by a silence that tugged at the edges of the group's resolve. They entered the mist together, finding themselves separated not by distance, but by visions that played upon their deepest doubts. Whiskers found himself back at the cottage, the witch lying still and silent, her life a candle snuffed out by the darkness. The owl saw the forest consumed by flame, his knowledge turned to ash within the inferno. The deer stood in a clearing, the trees around her withered and dead, a silence where once there had been life. Each vision sought to weaken, to divide, to conquer by isolating them within their fears. Yet, within the heart of the mist, a truth remained. They were not alone. Whiskers, recalling the river of reflections, closed his eyes and reached out, not with his paws but with his heart. We are together, he whispered, a mantra against the mist's deception. One by one they found each other, their visions dissipating like fog before the morning sun as they joined hands or paws or wings. The mist around them thinned, revealing a path that had been hidden by their isolation, a trail marked by the flowers of truth that bloomed only where trust was absolute. The meadow of mists, with its challenges of perception and reality, taught them that the truth they held within, their faith in each other, was the key to piercing any illusion, any shadow that sought to lead them astray. As they emerged from the dense embrace of the meadow of mists, the sun began its descent, painting the sky in hues of gold and purple. It was in this twilight hour that Whiskers and his companions encountered the enchanted fox. The fox with fur as red as the setting sun and eyes gleaming with an otherworldly light blocked their path with a presence that was both captivating and daunting. Greetings, travellers of the forest, the fox said, its voice a melody that seemed to dance with the wind. I have watched your journey from the shadows and I am impressed by your courage and unity. But the path you seek to tread demands not just bravery but wisdom. I will let you pass, but only if you can answer my riddles three. The companions exchanged glances, understanding the weight of this new challenge. The fox's tail flicked and it began. Riddle the first. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but I come alive with wind. What am I? The owl, with his love for puzzles, answered, You are an echo. A nod from the fox, and it continued, Riddle the second. The more of this there is, the less you see. What is it? The deer, her eyes reflecting the last light of the day, whispered, Darkness. Again, the fox nodded, its eyes glinting with approval. Riddle the third and final. I can be cracked, made, told and played. What am I? 
After a moment of thought, the squirrel, with a gleam of understanding, declared, A joke. With the third riddle solved, the fox bowed gracefully. Well answered, travellers. Your wisdom and unity have shone brightly this day. The path forward is yours to take. But before they could move on, the fox spoke once more. Remember, the journey ahead is fraught with trials that will test you to your very core. Keep close the lessons you've learned, for the true challenge lies not in the riddles, but in trusting the strength within and the bonds that tie you together. With that, the fox vanished as if it had been nothing more than a wisp of mist, leaving the companions to ponder its words. They realised that each encounter, each challenge, was not just a barrier, but a lesson, a stepping stone that prepared them for what lay ahead. Following the path laid out by the wisdom of the enchanted fox, Whiskers and his companions ventured forth until the land began to rise beneath their feet. Before them loomed the mountain that moans, its peak lost in the clouds, its slope steeped in the sorrow of ages. The mountain's name was not a mere title, but a truth, for it was said that the mountain itself lamented its solitude, crying out in a voice only the heart could hear. Could hear. Beyond the river of reflections, the forest opened into a vast meadow, shrouded in a thick, swirling mist that hung low to the ground. This was the Meadow of Mists, a place where the air was thick with enchantment, where reality seemed to shift and waver like the ground beneath a traveller's feet. The mist obscured not just the path, but the line between truth and illusion, making every step a question every direction a choice between what was real and what was mere shadow. The squirrel, ever curious and bold, was the first to dash into the mist, his laughter a bell in the quiet. But soon, his laughter faded, replaced by a silence that tugged at the edges of the group's resolve. They entered the mist together, finding themselves separated not by distance, but by visions that played upon their deepest doubts. Whiskers found himself back at the cottage, the witch lying still and silent, her life a candle snuffed out by the darkness. The owl saw the forest consumed by flame, his knowledge turned to ash within the inferno. The deer stood in a clearing, the trees around her withered and dead a silence where once there had been life. Each vision sought to weaken, to divide, to conquer by isolating them within their fears. Yet, within the heart of the mist, a truth remained. They were not alone. Whiskers, recalling the river of reflections, closed his eyes and reached out, not with his paws, but with his heart. We are together, he whispered a mantra against the mist's deception. One by one they found each other, their visions dissipating like fog before the morning sun as they joined hands or paws or wings. The mist around them thinned, revealing a path that had been hidden by their isolation, a trail marked by the flowers of truth that bloomed only where trust was absolute. The meadow of mists, with its challenges of perception and reality, taught them that the truth they held within, their faith in each other, was the key to piercing any illusion, any shadow that sought to lead them astray. As they emerged from the dense embrace of the meadow of mists, the sun began its descent, painting the sky in hues of gold and purple. It was in this twilight hour that Whiskers and his companions encountered the enchanted fox. The fox with fur as red as the setting sun and eyes gleaming with an otherworldly light blocked their path with a presence that was both captivating and daunting. 
This was the goblin's woods, known for its inhabitants' love of tricks and puzzles. The air buzzed with whispers and laughter, a clear sign that the goblins were aware of their new guests. No sooner had they stepped into the thicket than they were met by a band of goblins. These creatures, small and sprightly, with eyes that glimmered with mischief, formed a semicircle around the travellers. To pass through our woods, the lead goblin, wearing a crown woven from brambles and berries, declared, you must best us in a game of wits. The game was simple, yet cunning. The goblins would pose a series of tasks, each designed to test not just the intelligence, but the teamwork of Whiskers and his friends. The first task was to solve a labyrinth that the goblins conjured, a maze of thorns and mist that constantly shifted its paths. The owl, with his keen sight, flew above, guiding the others through the twists and turns with precise directions. The deer, with her agility, led the way on the ground, following the owl's guidance while helping her companions avoid the maze's more dangerous traps. The second task required them to untangle a knot that held a key, a knot so complex it seemed impossible to unravel. Here, the squirrel's nimble fingers and sharp eyes came to the fore, picking apart the convolutions with a patience and skill that left even the goblins impressed. The final task was a riddle, one that the lead goblin presented with a wide grin. I am light as a feather, yet the strongest man cannot hold me for long. What am I? The companions pondered this, discussing among themselves until Whiskers, remembering their journey and the trials they had overcome, found the answer. Breath, he said and the goblins, with a mix of surprise and admiration, conceded. The goblins, true to their word, stepped aside, allowing them to pass. You have bested us, the lead goblin said. But remember, the true strength lies not in your wits alone, but in the bonds you share and the unity you've shown. As they left the goblins' woods, the laughter and whispers fading behind them, the companions reflected on the trials they had faced. Each had brought them closer, strengthening the ties that bound them, and as they looked ahead to the trials still to come, they did so with a renewed sense of confidence and camaraderie. Beyond the goblins' woods, where the underbrush gave way to clearer lands, stood the Bridge of Breezes. It arched gracefully over a chasm so deep the bottom was shrouded in shadows, a bridge not of stone or wood, but of light and air, its substance made of the very breezes that danced through the forest. To cross it was to walk on the whispers of the wind, a test of faith in the unseen. As they approached, the wind began to speak, its voice a chorus of whispers that echoed the fears and doubts of Whiskers and his companions. For the bridge was enchanted to test the heart of those who sought to cross, to challenge their resolve with the weight of their own uncertainties. Whiskers heard the soft murmur of his mistress's voice, filled with disappointment. You have failed me, Whiskers. You are alone because you are not enough. The word struck deep, a blow more wounding than any physical barrier could ever be. The owl, the deer and the squirrel each faced their own trials, the wind whispering tales of failure, of dreams unattained and efforts wasted. The bridge demanded not just courage to step onto what seemed like thin air, but the strength to believe in oneself, to trust in the bonds that had carried them thus far. Gathering at the edge of the bridge, they shared a moment of hesitation, the whispers tugging at their spirits. 
It was then that Whiskers remembered the lessons of their journey, the challenges they had overcome by standing together, by believing not just in their own strength, but in each other. With a deep breath, Whiskers stepped onto the bridge, his eyes fixed on the far side, his heart filled with the memories of their shared trials and triumphs. One by one, his companions followed, each step a declaration of faith, not in the whispers of doubt, but in the louder, truer voices of friendship and courage that resided within each of them. The whispers grew fainter with each step, the wind's attempt to sway them losing its power against the force of their conviction. And when they reached the other side, the bridge of breezes solid beneath their feet until the very end, they knew that they had not just crossed a physical distance, but had bridged the chasm of their own fears. At last, the companions arrived at the edge of the enchanted glade, where the air shimmered with the magic that pulsed from the heart of the forest. Here, where the trees parted like curtains unveiling a stage, stood the guardian of the grove, a majestic stag whose antlers reached towards the heavens, intertwined with strands of light and shadow. His eyes, ancient and knowing, held the weight of the forest's history, and as he regarded Whiskers and his companions, the air itself seemed to hold its breath. You have come far, travellers, the Guardian spoke, his voice echoing like wind through the leaves. You have faced the trials of the treacherous trails with courage and unity. But one final test remains. You seek the crystal bloom, a treasure of the forest not lightly given. You must prove your intentions pure, your hearts true. The Guardian's gaze fell upon each of them, and in his eyes, they saw not judgment, but a deep wisdom that pierced to the soul. To each, I pose a question, a reflection of your journey and the truth you carry within. To the owl, he asked, what have you learned from the silence of the skies? The owl, thinking of the nights spent soaring above the canopy, replied, that wisdom is not just the accumulation of knowledge, but the understanding of when to listen, when to speak. To the deer he inquired, What strength have you found in the shadows of fear? The deer, remembering the path she had trodden, both physical and emotional, answered, That bravery is not the absence of fear, but the will to move forward despite it. To the squirrel he questioned, What joy exists in the heart of challenge? The squirrel, with a spark in his eye, responded, That every obstacle is an opportunity for growth, and in overcoming, we find the greatest happiness. Finally, to Whiskers he posed, What binds you to this quest, beyond loyalty to your mistress? Whiskers, Feeling the weight of their journey, the trials they had overcome, and the bond they had formed, said, A belief in the power of friendship and the strength that lies in unity. We are more than the sum of our parts, and together we can face any darkness. The guardian of the grove nodded, a soft light glowing in his eyes. Well spoken, or... You have shown not only the purity of your intentions, but the depth of your hearts. The path to the crystal bloom is open to you. As he stepped aside, the forest itself seemed to sigh, the magic of the glade pulsing brighter, leading them forward. There, in the heart of the glade, under the light of the moon, grew the crystal bloom its petals aglow with the very essence of the forest magic. With hearts full and spirits lifted, Whiskers and his companions approached the bloom. They understood now that their journey had been about more than the quest itself. It was about the bonds they had forged, 
the lessons they had learned and the strength they had found within themselves and each other. The guardian's voice followed them, a whisper on the wind. Remember, the magic you seek is not just in the bloom, but in the journey you have shared. Carry it forward, for it is the light that will guide you through the darkest of times. Chapter 3 The Heart of Magic with the crystal bloom secure and the trials of the forest behind them, Whiskers and his companions began their journey back to the Witch of Willow's End. However, the forest, ever changing and alive with magic, had one more path for them to tread. The Valley of Visions, a place where the future and past could be glimpsed in the mists that rolled eternally across its grounds. As they entered the valley, the air shimmered around them and the landscape transformed. The mist parted, revealing visions unique to each traveller. Whiskers saw the cottage at the forest's edge, the witch healthy and vibrant, her laughter mingling with his own in a melody of joy. But alongside this vision, he saw another, a future where the forest thrived and creatures of all kinds came to seek the wisdom they had gained from their journey. The owl saw a great tree illuminated by the stars, its branches a haven for those who sought knowledge. The deer saw meadows in bloom, safe and serene, where her kin could roam without fear. The squirrel saw the forest alive with laughter and play, a place where joy was the essence of existence. Each vision offered a glimpse of what could be, a future shaped by their actions, their courage and their hearts. Yet, as they moved through the valley, they understood that these visions were not promises but potentials, the outcome dependent on the choices they made and the paths they chose to follow. The guardian of the grove's words echoed in their minds, a reminder that the true magic lay not in the crystal bloom, but in their journey and the bonds they had formed. The Valley of Vision served as a testament to their growth, a mirror reflecting the impact of their unity and the strength of their collective spirit. As they left the valley, the mists closing behind them like the final page of a chapter, they felt a renewed sense of purpose. The visions had shown them not just what was, but what could be, imbuing them with a determination to make those potential futures a reality. As twilight draped its velvet cloak over the forest, Whiskers and his companions found themselves in a meadow unlike any they had traversed before. Here, under the cloak of approaching night, the air began to sparkle with the light of a thousand fireflies. Their dance was a symphony of light, each flicker a note in a melody that celebrated the magic of life itself. The meadow, bathed in this ethereal glow, seemed to step out of time a place where the journey's hardships faded into the beauty of the moment. The fireflies, drawn to the companions by the magic of their quest and the purity of their hearts, swirled around them. Their light, a testament to the power of hope and the enduring strength of the bonds forged on their journey. Whiskers, moved by the spectacle, felt a deep sense of peace. The dance of the fireflies was a reminder of the light they had found in each other, a light that had guided them through the darkest of trials. It was as if the meadow and its inhabitants celebrated their achievements, acknowledging the journey they had undertaken and the growth they had experienced. The owl, the deer and the squirrel stood transfixed, the worries of the past and the uncertainties of the future lost in the joy of the present. 
In this moment, there was no witch to save, no forest to protect, only the pure wonder of existence and the companionship that had become their greatest strength. As the night deepened, the dance of the fireflies slowed, their light dimming like stars at dawn. But the memory of their glow and the feeling of unity it inspired remained with the companions a beacon to carry forward into the challenges that lay ahead. With hearts lightened and spirits renewed, Whiskers and his friends left the meadow. The firefly's final flickers, a gentle farewell, a whisper of magic that promised no matter the darkness, there would always be light as long as they stood together. The journey from the meadow, illuminated by the last dance of the fireflies, led Whiskers and his companions to the Cavern of Echoes, a place whispered about in tales as old as the forest itself. Nestled at the heart of a forgotten glen, the cavern's entrance was marked by stones that hummed with an ancient magic, their surfaces carved with runes that glowed under the light of the moon. As they stepped into the cavern, the air around them vibrated with the power of untold stories. The walls of the cavern were alive with echoes, not of sounds but of moments. Each step they had taken, each challenge they had faced, echoed back at them in a tapestry of light and shadow that danced upon the stone. Whiskers saw the reflection of their first steps into the whispering woods, the owl's wisdom under the moonlit sky, the deer's grace as she navigated the river of reflections, and the squirrel's laughter, a beacon of light in the darkest moments. He saw too the unity that had grown between them, a bond forged in adversity and strengthened by each trial they had overcome. The echoes did not merely show the past. They whispered of growth, of the journey not just as a path through the forest, but as a journey within. Whiskers understood then that the cavern of echoes was a mirror reflecting not just what had been, but what they had become. They had entered the forest as travellers bound by a quest, but they had grown into something more, guardians of a magic that was as much about the heart as it was about the land they sought to protect. Together, they moved through the cavern, the echoes guiding them, reminding them of the lessons learned and the strength they had found in each other. And as they emerged on the other side, the cavern's mouth opening to a sky painted with the first light of dawn, they felt a renewed sense of purpose. The cavern of echoes had been a place of reflection, but it was also a place of passage, marking the transition from the trials of their journey to the final steps of their quest. They had faced the reflections of their past, and now, with the crystal bloom in hand, they were ready to face the future. With the dawn casting its first golden rays upon the forest, Whiskers and his companions made their way back to the Witch of Willow's End, the crystal bloom secure in their care. The journey through the Cavern of Echoes had prepared them for this moment, imbuing them with a profound sense of unity and purpose. They understood now that the bloom was not merely a magical remedy, but a symbol of the journey they had undertaken and the bonds they had forged. As they approached the cottage, the air thrummed with anticipation. The witch, sensing the approach of her faithful familiar and his companions, stood at the threshold. Her strength waned, but her spirit undiminished. Her eyes, alight with hope, fixed upon the crystal bloom, its petals shimmering with the light of a thousand suns. Whiskers stepped forward, the bloom cradled gently in his paws. We have returned, not just with the bloom but with a magic born of friendship, 
courage and unity. This journey has changed us all, woven us into the fabric of the forest magic itself. The witch, moved by his words, extended her hands, and as Whiskers placed the bloom within her grasp, a profound silence fell over the clearing. Then, with a voice that wove the essence of magic and life, the witch began to chant, her words not commanding, but inviting, reaching out to the magic that dwelled within each of them. As the chant echoed through the clearing, the crystal bloom glowed brighter, its light enveloping them all. It was in this moment that they realised the true power of the bloom required more than just the witch's magic. It required the unity of their spirits, the trust and belief they had placed in one another. Together, they focused their thoughts on the bloom, on the health of the witch, and on the forest they sought to protect. Their combined will, fueled by the trials they had overcome, and the love they bore for their home, poured into the bloom, igniting it with a brilliance that outshone the morning sun. The light exploded in a cascade of magic, washing over them, over the cottage, and through the forest beyond. Where it touched, life renewed, magic restored, and balance returned. The witch, her strength revived, stood taller, the malaise that had gripped her dispelled by the power of the crystal bloom and the unity it had harnessed. As the light faded, a profound peace settled over the clearing. They had returned with the crystal bloom, but what they had truly brought back was a magic of their own making, a testament to their journey and the strength of their bond. In the wake of the Crystal Bloom's awakening, the cottage and the surrounding forest thrummed with a renewed vigour, the air rich with the scent of magic and growth. The witch, her health restored by the unity and dedication of her familiar and his companions, embraced each of them in turn, her eyes shimmering with gratitude. Because of you, not just I, but the whole forest has been reborn, she said, her voice carrying the warmth of a thousand sunrises. Your journey has woven a new magic into the fabric of our world, a magic born of friendship and the courage to face the unknown. Whiskers, the owl, the deer and the squirrel stood before her no longer merely companions brought together by circumstance, but a family forged in the fires of their quest. They had returned to the cottage as the bearers of a new dawn, their spirits imbued with the lessons and the strength they had gained along the way. The witch turned to Whiskers, her gaze tender. You, my brave familiar, have shown the heart of a true guardian, your journey has been one of discovery, not just of the magic needed to save us, but of the magic within yourself and your friends. Together, they looked out over the forest, where the light of the crystal bloom had touched every leaf and bough, where the air buzzed with the promise of new beginnings. The challenges they had faced the trials that had tested their resolve had not only saved their home, but had transformed them, weaving their stories into the legends of the forest. The return of Whiskers and his companions marked the end of their quest, but not the end of their story. For in their hearts, they carried the seeds of countless adventures yet to come bound by a bond that would endure through the ages. As the day gave way to evening, and the stars began to twinkle in the velvet sky, they gathered around a fire, the witch among them, sharing tales of their journey, laughter mingling with the crackle of the flames. It was a celebration not just of their return, but of the journey itself of every step that had brought them to this moment, and of the magic that would carry them forward. K.
carried with the first light of dawn, the world seemed to awaken to a new era. The forest, revitalized by the magic of the crystal bloom, sang with a vibrancy that resonated deep within the souls of all who dwelled within its embrace. Whiskers and his companions, standing at the threshold of this new day, felt the weight of their journey lift, leaving in its place a sense of boundless possibility. The witch, her strength fully restored, stood beside them, a beacon of the wisdom and resilience that had guided them through the darkest of times. This is a new beginning, she proclaimed, her voice echoing the song of the forest. A beginning that you have made possible through your bravery, your sacrifice, and your unwavering faith in each other. The forest around them bore the marks of their journey, not as scars, but as testament to the growth and renewal that had come from their trials. The whispering woods whispered their names. The river of reflections mirrored their strength and the meadow of mists shimmered with the light of their unity. And as they looked upon the world they had helped to save, they understood that their journey had changed them in ways they were only beginning to comprehend. They had set out to save the Witch of Willow's End, but in doing so, they had saved much more. They had rekindled the magic of the forest, but also the magic within themselves, the magic of friendship, courage, and hope. The new dawn that greeted them was not just a promise of the day to come, but of all the days that would follow. For Whiskers, the Owl, the Deer, and the Squirrel, the end of their journey marked the beginning of a new adventures, new challenges, and new stories to be told. As they turned their faces to the rising sun, their hearts filled with the light of a thousand possibilities. They stepped forward into the new day, together. For in the heart of the magic they had discovered, they knew that no matter what the future held, they would face it as one, their bonds unbreakable, their spirits indomitable, forever guardians of the magic that binds all things. And so, in the heart of the forest, a new chapter began, woven from the tales of those who dare to dream, to believe, and to embark on the journey of a lifetime.